playground creators, our goal is to make dimension part files for parts like the slide, crayon fence, one of the upright ladders, and the both slides, the tunnel slide and the spiral slide. So our goal is to produce documents that look like this. Four of them, 25 points each, 100 classwork points at stake today. First thing you should do is open, let's say your spiral slide. Open the part file so it's open, You're staring at it, and you know it's good, like so. You need to create a new title block file. Hopefully you uh, type in your name, class, and block number right here. Hit OK. Shamana title block paper should pop up blank. We click on base in the upper left. We start on the front view. If you notice, oh, it automatically scales. That's pretty cool. Let's make this a 1 to 50 scale. Like so. You do four left clicks. One, Two, three, four. Right click, create. You're going to see these four views of the slide. You can move them over by hovering over it and move it. You right click the upper left, upper right drawing. Right click, edit view. You make this color by clicking on this. That becomes color. We need to annotate, and we do four text boxes. This would be the top view. This would be the front view. This would be the right side view. And this is the ISO view. Scales 1 to 50. And you type in your color of your slide. You have four text boxes labeling the four views. Hit escape a couple times. Now, not only do we label these views, we need to dimension these views. So you click on dimension here. Zoom in. Hover over the circle, make it red. Left click, click out. Dimension, maybe the inner circle. Maybe dimension the total height, top to bottom, green dot to green dot, you get it correct. And maybe these two inner circles here. If you get lost in outer space, you click on this. There you go. If you ever lose these windows on the left side, which is the browser, the right side, which is the navigation bar, click on View, User Interface. You always want the navigation bar and browser up. That'll help you out. This would be a good time to save. Save. You save this as spiral slide, your last name. This is your title block file. And then you export this to PDF. Spiral slide, last name. Sounds good. There's your PDF. Four text boxes. For this one, I want five dimensions. Diameter, diameter, radius, radius. One slide finished. Inventor, next, you should open the tunnel slide. Open up the part file. Always have it open. Do a new CCP title block file. Your name. 
class block number. Hit OK, you should have a blank. Chaminade title block paper with your name, what class you're in, and the block number. Click on base. Here you want to make sure you have your tunnel slide picked. One of 50 scales should be good. Four left clicks. One, two, three, four. Right click, creates. Let's do our text boxes first. Do your annotate text. This is the top view. Let me look at it from the top. This is the front. This is the right. This is your ISO view. We use a 1 to 50 scale. I believe my slide is cyan. Use the color that your actual slide is. Hover over the ISO view. Right click, edit view. Click on this cylinder here, it makes it shaded. We only shade the ISO view. Now it's time to dimension. Dimension. You could hover over the line, make it red, click down. The slide length should be 120 inches. Total height from green dot to green dot, click on the left. Total depth is that. Get a radius in here. Whoa, don't get that radius. You can also dimension the bottom of the slide where the child will exit the slide. You can also dimension the opening of the slide up there and the exit of the slide down here. Seems like this is, oh, you might need these dimensions. The opening dimensions could be good to communicate. The child has to fit through a 30 wide by 24.49 height opening at the top, and he gets to exit at the bottom down here. Wee! This would be a good time to save. Call this tunnel slide your last name. And then, of course, you export this to PDF. So now you should have two PDFs. One of the tunnel slide, your name, created by you. Your five-digit ID number down here. And your spiral slide right there. Okay, next part we're going to dimension is the crayon fence, crayon spike, whatever you called it. I'll open up this one. Um, new piece of paper, CCP title block. Your name, class, and block. Number, hit OK. Click on base. Let's try a 1 to 10 scale. Oops, 1 slash 10. Four left clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right click, create. Seems like we can make this a little bigger, so let's uh, hover over the front view, right click, edit view. Instead of 1 to 10, let's use 1 to 8. Those get a little bigger, which is fine. Hover over the ISO view, right click, edit view, shade it. Um, we need our four text boxes. Top view. Front. Right, ISO 1 to 8 scale, 1 8 scale, magenta. Remember, you type in your color. Now it's time to dimension. If you need to zoom in, use your scrolly ball to zoom in here. 
dimension the outer circle, the inner circle, maybe the crayon circle right there. Total height would be good from that green dot to this corner. Maybe this height in there. I believe that's all you have to dimension for this one. You hit save. Crayon fence last name would be a great file name for this. Export to PDF. Crayon fence last name. Awesome. fine and dandy to me. Last part we are going to dimension is one of the vertical ladders for the monkey bars. So open up the file. New piece of paper. CSP title block. Your name. Class block number. Enter. Base. We're going to lay out the four views of this. One, two, three, four. Right click, create. There it is. Four text boxes. Annotate. Text box. This is the top view. This is the front. ISO one. 25 scale, yellow or gold, my color, and this is the right. Hit escape a couple times, hover over the ISO view, right click, edit view, shade that one. Okay, so this is going to get a little tricky here. You might want to zoom in here. On, under annotate, I want you to hit this crosshair button here, center mark. We're going to center mark all these circles and put crosshairs on all these. Because we need to know where the centers are. Then I want you to click center line, bisect, center line bisector. You go into this view, click on both lines. It gives you center line bisector. Now let's go to dimension, dimension, proper width, proper height, oops, green dot to green dot, click. Proper depth. Then we should dimension from this bottom corner to this center mark. It's 10. Here to here is 10. You can move this up here if you want. And then you can double click this 10. Just type in PYP because each spacing is 10 and 10 inches away from each other. If you need to move dimensions, hit escape a couple times. Hover over it and move it over. Just like any other Microsoft. Program you've used before. Okay, so you got your top view, front view. Right view, ISO view. Basically, our goal is to make these documents look a little more professional using our CCP title block. Uh, paper. So when you get done here, you should hit save. Vertical ladder, last name, great. Export this to PDF. Save everything in the same spot. Your teacher does not help you find lost inventor files or PDF files. When you have all four.